All right, we're live. We are live here on Facebook. This way out live. The number I'm over here is right there. 843-879-8729. Uh, as I wait for some folks to come online, um, today's subject is going to be spiraling. If that sounds familiar to any of you, because uh, you know you probably experience it. Um, I've got a bit of a glare going on over there. If I drop my glasses, nope, nope, there you go. Um, yeah, today's topic is going to be spiraling. Um, The idea for this particular episode has come from the loss of another um, military member to suicide. Um, I'm sure many of you watching this now or later would agree that um, it's happening way too often. And... The question, uh, I guess, then becomes is what can we, what can we do about it? The, the statement is that we've got to do something. We've got to do something. Something has got to change. And although, you know, I don't know exactly what that something is, the, the one thing that I am willing to do that I can do is share what it feels like to be someone who um, experiences this thing, this spiraling thing. And what I can tell you is that um, at least for me, when I am in, when I am in this, when I am in that state of mind, the spiraling state of mind, I can tell you that, thanks Creighton, appreciate it buddy, um, you know, not, not, there, there are no good things that uh, cross your mind, you know, it's very hard to be rational when you're when you're in that state of mind when you're in the spiraling state of mind i think another i, I was trying to do a little digging a little research on this so i could try to speak intelligently um intelligently enough to where i could maybe help anyone who experiences this same sort of thing um you know the other thing they that it's called in some um in some circles it's Cat, catastrophing, you know, catastrophe. You know what I mean? Like you, you feel like everything is about to fall apart. The world is about to crumble in on you. And when you're spiraling, when you're experiencing that, when you're experiencing, when you're in that state of mind, when you're in that mindset, it really does feel, um, it really does feel that way. Now, and, you know, I've, I've talked to other people about this particular subject, um, on different, uh, on different occasions. And what I've learned is that, um, different people experience it different ways. And for those of us who are, um, and I include myself in the those of us, for those of us who, um, you know, are kind of in a better place with it, um, it, it you know, you, man, it, it's, it's so hard to talk about and put into words. Because um, I, I really can only speak for myself. So, what I can tell you is that at its worst, 
there's, it's, there's a lot of irrational thinking. There's a lot of irrational thinking that takes place um, when you're in that spiraling mindset. You're in that, that mode. Um, but here as of late, um, you know, I've been able to snap myself out of it. Um, I'm, I don't know if it's easier, but definitely with a, with a lot more frequency, if that makes sense. Like it just, I'm, I'm being more knowledgeable, uh, that I'm in that, that I'm in that mode that I'm in that zone. And it's by having that awareness, it's really, um, it's 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 helped with kind of um you know clearing the haze getting out of the fog so um typically the what what uh triggers it for me is stress right i put a lot of on my own plate a lot of expectation on my on myself a lot of um yeah it's a lot of expectation on my, uh, you know, um, I, I don't think I'm any different than most people, but, um, so I put a lot of expectation on myself. I really, 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 um, appreciate structure. Right. Um, and like a ch any change from that structure really kind of trick it. Well, it's, it's, see, there really is no like end all be all, but it's def it's always, it's always, the only surefire thing about this whole phenomenon for me is that it's stress related. And, um, yeah, that it's stress related. So, um, when I get stressed out and sometimes, you know, I don't even have to be like conscious of whatever is, whatever the stressor is. It's just, you know, something's weighing on my mind. And, um, you know, it's, it, it, it triggers the, the, um, that spiraling effect. And for me, basically what spiraling is, is that whenever, whenever something doesn't work out, either doesn't work out, doesn't play out, doesn't meet my expectations um yeah you know it 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 really you know, like like the whole world is just messed up you know like the whole world is messed up i start to think of all the responsibilities that i have right it's mostly like it's mostly that like the responsibilities like i said i i, I put a lot of expectation on myself I put a lot of um, pressure on myself to get um, a, you know to for for a lot of things, right? And um, you know when one thing kind of falls apart, like I just start thinking about all. I fixate on everything at the same time, right? I fixate on. I fixate on all the what's up Vance how's it going thanks for thanks for uh, joining I'm um, talking about spiraling buddy and how it feels and and um, how I experience it how I experience this spiraling thing and I know a lot of people experience it and you know the, the stuff that comes with it the feelings that come with it and I was just about to sh you know I was just sharing that um, what usually triggers my, my, what it usually triggers it for me is it's stress. And, uh, thanks buddy. Um, but basically what happens is, you know, like I, I have a lot of expectation of myself. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of, um, uh, I got my hands on a lot of pots. I try to keep myself busy, right? Because you've heard of the saying an idle mind is the devil's workshop. Well, that is, that is especially true in my case, right? If, if I sit idle, 
idle and my me being idle, me being static, not good. It's not good, and it usually ends poorly. Um, that because it allows me to, like, it allows all the. It allow I don't know if, it, if this is going to make sense, but it allows like real life to kind of set in, and it allows real life. I don't know if I'm saying that right. All I know is that I start to think about like everything, like, and it's not like just my bubble. It's not just my my AOR, my my area of responsibility, because I try to keep my AOR small, right? That's the that's how I keep my sanity. If I worry about anything else outside of my family, my immediate family, it just, I just, I go bonkers, right? Like I take it all, I take all of it on. And that's kind of the reason why I started this whole project in the first place, because, you know, I'm a Facebook addict. The easy thing would be to stay away from Facebook, but it's, it's my, and how I keep in touch with a lot of people, you know, and, and that might be a, a sound like a poor excuse and it, and it really kind of is, but, um, you know, I started to take a walk, you know, I started, uh, it just seemed like it was all just bad stuff, bad, 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 bad stuff taking place on, on Facebook. So, um, much like, you know, the, the sitting and being idle and taking on the problems of the world and just taking it all on. Um, I was seeing that on Facebook and that's kind of why I started this project. And the way that, the way that all that stuff fits in with, with this, this, uh, one topic is, if an idle mind is a devil's workshop, it's true for me. If I am static, this is me personally, if I am static and I'm not busy doing something, then like it's like a, a flood of problems, right? And I, I, I fixate on all the, the, the negativity that is in, you know, all the, all, everything that's not working in my family, everything that's not working in somebody else's family, in this family, in that family, in this, or, you know, this group of people, or that group of people, or those folks, in this part of the world, and that part, and it all, like, all at the same time. All at the same time. And it's, it's like the thoughts, the thoughts go from, you know, the stuff that's close to home, right? All the, all the, um, all the problems that need to be fixed at home and then all the problems that need to get fixed far away and then we're back at home and it's all I mean it's all at the same time so it's like here are all these problems how do I solve those there are those problems how, how do those get solved here are my problems again and there are those problems over there how do those get solved and how do I solve my problems I got a problem but there's problem you know it's all happening all at the same time and that to me is spiral and so I guess I've named two ways that triggered it. One is stress. Stress triggers spiraling for me and being static, being idle. I've got to stay busy. I have got to stay busy and I've got to keep my mind occupied and distracted because if I'm not distracted, then I'm going to be thinking about all kinds of negative stuff all at the same time. And it's, it always not, no, 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 no. It doesn't always, but most times it will lead back to thinking irrational thoughts, irrational thoughts and not good thoughts. And it's, it's not exactly the, the stuff that I'm comfortable sharing in this forum. If, if there was anybody who was watching this and you were curious, like, you know, what's, what are the irrational thoughts that you think about there? Uh, Mata, Miguel, Sergeant Mata, whoever, however you know me by, right? Um, sh shoot me a message, shoot me an email, shoot me whatever, shoot me a text, and we can talk about it, you know, one on one. But as far as like the irrational thinking that I experience here, um, I'm not real comfortable sharing it online. Um, but it is, it's bad stuff. And I'll say that what I'll say, what I will say is that what is, what kind of motivated me to, to start to do this particular subject today is that when you're spiraling, you don't think rationally. Okay. And, um, 
this week we lost another um you know we lost another guy who took his own life and you know it caught a lot of people by surprise caught a lot of people by surprise christy's on hey christy um we lost another guy here um and it caught a lot of people by surprise took his own life and you know it's always the same stuff he seemed to be so together she seemed to be so together he seemed so happy she seemed so happy you don't ever know what's going on in a, in a person's life right and you know the the you know a person's head and you're 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 no different than me i'm sure but you you think and sometimes you overthink and sometimes you underthink and but your head is a can be a your head your brain is a powerful tool right your head that that space that that lies in between your in between your ears is a powerful it's a powerful tool and um i think a quote that i posted not too long ago was you know your hands and your mind can do the same thing they can grab hold it they can grasp the world and they can change it. But what stinks is that it also works against you in a lot of ways. It works against you. And when you're, you know, when you're dealing with, you know, these, when you're dealing with these sort of things, um, it's all in a space that no one else can see, right? It's all in a space that no one else can see. And in a place that is hard to um, interpret and translate. Does that make sense? So, um, you know, with the loss of this of this young man this week, and the loss of so many people that um, I've known personally, and um. That I've known personally, it just it, it motivated me to, to talk about this particular issue because you know you you really when you're in this mindset you don't you don't really think straight right now um, for me it's it's different. Like I said, for, for me, it's different than how other people, if everybody experiences it, you know, some people might experience it the same. Other people might experience it differently. Um, if you want to, you know, I've got my phone number right there. Right there. Um, if you feel comfortable uh, calling in and sharing what that, what that experience feels like for you and maybe what helps you. Um, snap out of that that get out of that fog you know i'd love to hear it i'd love to hear how you do it um for me it's talk i've got to talk i've got to talk it out right i've got to talk it out i can't be i can't be allowed to be alone with my thoughts right i can't be allowed to be alone when I, in that fog by myself somebody's got to say hey Snap out of it. It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. Those are probably the most important words to hear. Everything is going to be okay. Right? <laughs> it's, uh, it makes me laugh. It sounds silly because it's true. It's true. There's only so much that you, and Lanier's online. Hey, Lanier, how's it going? There's only so much that you can control. There's only so much that you have control of. Um, you know, the world may seem like it's falling apart around you and it's getting ready to collapse and it might seem like it's all your fault. Like it's up to you to keep it upright, the entire world, right? It might feel that way, but that is part of that irrational thinking. The irrational thoughts that come with that, those sort of, when, when being in that fog, the irrational thoughts that come with being in that mindset are things like it's up to me 
to fix everything. And the truth is, is that it's not, it's not necessarily up to one person, right? And many times, many times the hardest part is to reach out and ask for help or to say, I ain't got it together, man. I don't feel good. I don't, I'm not, I'm not good. I am not good and I need help. <laughs> I'm not sure what Lanier's agreeing to, but he said all the time. Oh, is it like fixing everything? Um, yeah, man. So for me, like I said, the triggers are, for me, the triggers are stress, definitely stress related. And it doesn't have to be, sometimes it doesn't have, like I said, it doesn't have to be like something that's happening like at that moment. Something that could be that I have experienced and I'm processing in the back of my head and now it's coming out and and it comes out it comes out in the form of anger, right? That's really the bad one. Because sometimes, you know, you start you start yelling at people. You just start yelling. Right? And have you ever heard this one before? I'm not yelling. I'm not yelling. Somebody says, Would you stop yelling? And then you come back with, I'm not yelling. More than likely, you're yelling. You may not feel like you are, but you probably are. I've come to I've come to to that realization because I said that I used to say that a lot. I used to hear that a lot, and I used to say that a lot. I'm not yelling. I'm yelling. Probably yelling. I've been trying to do a whole lot better of being conscious of the level the the volume of my voice. Because people, especially my people that live in this house, they don't respond well to that, right? You got people, you know, you got people like I grew up with people yelling. I grew up in houses where people yell. And, you know, I, I guess I could say that I don't, I'm not affected by it, but it probably affected me. That's probably why I do it now. But, um, you know, when I get stressed and I'm in that mode and I'm in that mindset, it's happening. It's happening. So, anger, yelling, that's all part of the spiraling effect. That's all part of spiraling for me, personally, for me. And then, once again, taking on the problems of the world. So, being stressed, being stressed is one trigger, and then being idle, being idle. I cannot be, I can't be idle. I can't be, I can't, I can't not be doing anything. That's a double negative. So, I I should be doing something. If I'm not doing anything, then, like I said, I'm taking all the problems of, of all every problems everywhere are gonna. I'm gonna be thinking about them all at the same time. The ones close to home and the ones far away from home, and they're all gonna happen all at the same time. These are the issues that I have in my own house. These are the things that I need to get fixed in my own house. These are the problems that I see in my own house. These are the blah 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 all at the right. At, Right at that instant, and then those people over there are having problems, and da 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 do, and then it's back over here, and then it's over there, blah da da da, and it's back over here, and then it's the other part of the world, and it's you know it's but it's all happening at the same time, and mm -hmm. it sucks, you know it sucks. So what do I do to snap out of it? I talk. I have to talk. I can't be left alone with my mind. I can't be left alone with my thoughts. I can't. Somebody's got to talk me out of it. Somebody's got to say the ever important magic words. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. That's one. Two is distraction. Just keep busy. Stay busy. Do, do this, that, and the other, but stay busy. Anybody? Anybody want to share? Anybody feel like sharing? How do you how do you snap out of it? How do you get out of your funks? When you're in a funk, how do you get out of your funk? Vance says, "Have always had a tough time focusing on taking care of myself and my thoughts when I recognize others close to me are dealing with their own stresses." That is absolutely right. That's I think I think that's another thing. That's definitely a and that is so common. I think. I think people who 
who uh, deal with this on a regular basis, people who deal with this sort of thing, right? Deal with this sort of anxiety and those and that stuff, right? Yeah, I, I'm almost, I don't think it's an exaggeration. Eight, nine out of 10 people will say the same thing. How can I complain about my stuff when I know those people are dealing with their stuff, have their own stuff to deal with? Right, need to put my mask on before helping others. You're absolutely right, buddy. You're absolutely right. And what sucks about what sucks about that? Sorry about the bug. The spider. But start spiraling because of stress. Um, what sucks about that is that you know that um, I'm trying to make it like I'm trying to think of like an analogy or a metaphor. It's like that mask is is it's like a, a it's like a you know that oh man you're in North Dakota you're in North Dakota you know what it's like to suit up for the winter time if you ever have to work outside in North Dakota isn't it exhausting to put all that cold weather gear on before you even have to just walk outside so you don't so you don't die from frostbite that's what it feels like putting that mask on putting on your armor so you can help other people you're about to walk into somebody else's problems and you have your own stuff to deal with. You got to put on, got to put my, all right, put my pullover, okay, fleece, apex jacket, apex pants, get my daggum three in one hoodie on, toboggan, goggles. An hour later, I'm ready to go to work. <laughs> It's the same. It's the same, dude. And it's exhausting. You're absolutely right. You got to put your mask on. And it's, you know, I say, on the one side, I say, good for you for helping others. Good for you for helping others. But, you know, if this is the sort of stuff that you deal with, then you got to, you know, I said something, I said something, something to my daughter not too long ago. She, cause she deals with, she deals with, she deals with it too. And she deals with it to a greater magnitude than I do. And I said something to her the other day, which was, you have to, at some point, you got to make yourself a priority. And whenever you're, when you're in this, when you're in this mode, right, and you, you put others first, which is an admirable and honorable, a good, good, good thing. Um, if you're willing to put that much effort into somebody else's well-being, into somebody else's mental health, Numero uno is sitting right here, sitting right there. Numero uno is sitting right there. You got to be willing to put in the same kind of effort for your own self, for your own, for up here, right? Because like I said earlier, I don't know, I can't remember, I don't know if you were on earlier, but um, that space right there, that that piece of meat that's right there in, in your head, um, it it's a it's a powerful 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 tool powerful tool just like your hands right you can grasp the world with it and you can change the world with it but at the same time it can be a dark dark place and it can be an ugly place and it can be a dangerous place it can be a scary place and people can't see it you can't and it's hard to to make sense of it you know, it's hard to make sense of it to yourself. Good luck making it make sense for somebody else, you know. But the truth is, is that if this is something that you deal with on a regular basis, then it's something that you need to, you need help with. So, um, you know, what as I mentioned earlier, it's it, this is something that, um, you know, we're losing, we're losing two many good people we're losing too many good people right over the years um oh i didn't see that minus 68 last winter Shit. you can keep that junk jack <laughs> you can keep that junk i always wanted to make a video when we were when we were suiting up, like to go outside, I always wanted to do like the Rambo music. I wanted to take video of people 
getting suited up and do like the Rambo music. Right? Remember when Rambo gets suited up, you see the boot knife going. Machine gun. Bam. Put the. All right. So what snaps me out of it? Like I said, what snaps you out of it? What snaps you out of the funk? That's what I'm, I'd really like to know because it, you know, maybe, maybe talking distraction. I know definitely distraction. I had a, I had a, a little bit of, I had a little bit of, um, I had a moment earlier today. As a matter of fact, I had a moment earlier today and you know, the wife was taught. She, she took my mind off of it by, by talking about something different. The other thing that helped though, too, was, uh, being aware that, um, and that'll help. Once again, I want to, I want to mention that. I know I, I mentioned it like, Real quick in passing. I mentioned it real quick in passing. But if you, when you're in this mode, right? When you're in this mode, being aware that you're there, you're in that space, just having the awareness and saying to yourself, okay, I know what's happening right now. I know, I know that this is all, you know, like it's all a dream. I know it's not, <laughs> this is not real. Tommy, talk me down, man. Yeah, but um, being aware of uh, that you are in that space, and I think that will help, you know, um, running the dog around the yard. Yeah, man. Yeah. Dog is definitely a man's best friend. She helps. Mine does. You just drive around town. Something things are too distracting to do that. Yeah, driving, driving didn't re, you know driving I thought would be a good way. I don't know if you hear my son; he's he's, he's laughing. Um, driving, I I used to think driving would be a, is a good was a good way of of decompressing and stuff like that. But I started having not good thoughts while driving, and. Uh, yeah, so driving is for me is not exactly the best way to, uh, take my mind off of things when I'm in that, when I'm in the fog, right? I used to think, you know, maybe like, no, 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 it's not true. Yeah. Driving is not exactly, it's not, it doesn't work for me because I've, I've had one too many instances Yeah, one too many instances where I might not have come back home or something, but whatever. <laughs> Great Dane, the whole lot of dog. <laughs> right on. Okay, so um, one last, you know, I just want to share one more thing. You know, I I, I could talk about this, and I and I will. I'll continue going if there, if I still see viewers on, then I'll keep talking. But um, get help, you know, if you're in that space, dude, or dudettes, guys and gals, if you're in that space and you spend a lot of time in that space, get help. I can't, I can't vouch for it enough. I can't vouch for it enough. It got really bad when I was in, um, my dog snaps me out of it. Cool. Awesome. Dogs are awesome for that stuff. They are awesome. They are great for that stuff. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Doggy. The puppy dog guys yeah if you need some if you if you look we would all love to feel like we could do it by ourselves like we could fix ourselves but the the jagged little pill to swallow here is that it's it's tough to fix it's tough to it's tough to fix us the you know, we don't even know what's wrong. You know, like you, you, you can't make sense of your own thoughts. And when you get into a space where, where irrational thinking 
and I, I'm using that a lot, rational thinking. I'm starting to turn into a buzzword, and I hate buzzwords. Hate them. But you just don't – it's not a good – it's not good when you get into that mindset. Um, you, you can't make sense of it yourself. I can't, I can't encourage people enough to give somebody a call have a conversation with somebody and just kind of, and, and get it off your chest because talking is in my experience, the number one therapy, the best therapy and find somebody you trust. <laughs> if you don't have anybody that you trust, you can always, the phone number is right there. <laughs> the phone number is right there. Give me a call. We will talk through it. I guarantee you, it probably, it will, probably won't take a whole lot, a whole lot of time. I've got a buddy who became a therapist. He used to be stationed at Edwards. I'll give him a call. See if he could offer me any help. I know that there are websites online that will, that will provide. Okay, so let's let's get down. Okay, I'm already, I'm already over time. I didn't expect to go this long, but let's let's talk about, let's just talk about some resources that you have available. Just online resources. If if you're active duty, you always have mental health. If you're if you're military and you're active duty, you always have mental health. You always have mental health. Screw the stigma, all that other BS. You always have mental health. Go talk to them. It, you you will feel that much better. There's no way I'd be able to deal with life coming from all directions without having my wife and my friends. Could not agree more. Could not agree more. Yeah, buddy. Different lives that they have lived can provide different perspectives. That's absolutely right. And that's, you know, that's one of the reasons why I do this, this project here. That's why I got started doing this thing because perspect, the different perspectives that, that people can offer. Right. Um, I know I've said it at least once in at least one other video, which is that, um, you know, you think you're, you think you're going through something, right? You're going through a problem, right? Like, let's say, you know, I just had a gentleman who, who, um, talked about his parents' divorce, right? And yeah, he, he talked about his parents' divorce and maybe somebody else can hear that and they say, Hey, my parents went through a divorce. I'm still having trouble with that. How'd you do it? How'd you deal with it? That's, and you know, how'd you, how'd you, how'd you deal with that problem? I have Lanier, you know, Lanier was on here. And he gave his perspective about, you know, you know, he was in a car accident and he had, he had suffered all these injuries and, you know, he, he could have quit. He could have quit. He could have quit and he probably wanted to, but he didn't. Instead, he adopted a new way of thinking. It triggered a, 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 a life changing moment, right? Gave him a, a different timeline, if you will, in, in the picture. Or maybe it was the same same timeline. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not a comic book guy. But it gave him, you know, give him a different timeline, and now he's on this new on this new um, life journey. And maybe somebody else who was in it, maybe their got went through a car accident, and they can, you know, they they had to go. They have to go to some sort of therapy. And maybe exercise science might be something they consider. It's just it's an other. It's another perspective from a real person, not an actor, to that can share, you know, how to look at things, right? Uh, how to look at things, how to look at your situation. It's just another person's experience. We've all we all have these experiences. We all go through through. We all have our problems. We all have our adversities that we have to overcome, and we do multiverse theory. <laughs> Yeah, I tried to do a comic book thing just now. It didn't work out. I'm sorry. Like immediately, I thought of like the end game lady with the time thing. Like, uh, Doctor Strange told you that? Oh yeah. Whatever. Anyway, um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah. Um, but the project is where is my oh man? See, I know it's Milio. It ain't Stella. That's Milio. <laughs> Where's my tea? <laughs> So, um, yeah, the different perspectives that other people can offer 
can give, you know, sometimes, you know, and this, this is, this is the same thing. When you're in that spiraling fog mindset, crap, darkness, it's very difficult to see, you know, the lighthouse in the distance. Very difficult to see any, it's very difficult to see hope, right? Difficult to see hope. And, um, With this project, I'm hoping to provide some hope, right? The lighthouse in the distance. Somebody that's going through, what was a different one? Deacon, Deacon, uh, Deacon Simmons dealt with alcohol, come from the streets, became a deacon of his church, right? Eventually, he tried to live a hustler's life. It didn't work out for him, right? But he found, managed to find his way back to the church, right? And maybe somebody is going, experiencing that same thing and can see hope through his story. A real person, not an actor. Um, I was, you know, I was thinking about calling this show that "Real People, Not Actors," but anyway. Um, but when you're in that, in that, in that haze, when you're in that fog, it's tough to see. It's tough to see the the good in anything. It's tough to see the good in anything. And um, and unfortunately. And this is what motivated me to, to, to do this subject today. Unfortunately, there are a lot of people who are experiencing that and we're learning that by the increasing number of suicides that are taking place among our military members. And the question then becomes, what can we do? And the answer for, that I provide is, I don't know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to talk about this stuff and the and the and 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 how I deal with the dark days and the and the dark times and the all that and that sort of stuff and to, and to at least put out into the world that if you one of the four people that are online right now are experiencing something that has you in that haze in that in that in that fog you're in that you're spiraling and you're having a hard time maybe there will be a moment of clarity maybe i am hoping i i have the hope that you're going to have a moment of clarity that will say i can call modern i can text miguel i can shoot him a message i can call him on the phone and he will help me. He will talk to me. And he will. He's an option. Because that's what be that's what that's what people who deal with this stuff, myself included, need to know is that there is help out there. Being aware that you're in that space, that helps a million times over. Saying to yourself, okay, I know this isn't real. The demons aren't real. Those are just shadows on the wall. That's just a that's just a whatever in the closet, not a clown in the closet. Pennywise is not out to get me. <laughs> Aunt Bunny is coming to get me. Goony goo goo. <laughs> I'll just call you anyway. That sounds good. Yeah, we're just just holler, man. Give a holler. But, um, yeah, we're losing too many people, too many guys and gals. They're, they, they're not seeing their way out of the darkness. And, and most of them, maybe they just don't, they don't, many of them don't realize that, they're, that there's, hope, there's hope and there's help. And, and if you can't find it, you know, if you don't know somebody personally, there are resources available online. I just looked them up. I looked them up today. Um, If you're active duty military, you always have mental health. You always have mental health. Screw the stigma. Don't worry about the stigma. Just go. Just go. Trust me. You would just go. 20 years in the military, never went to mental health until I retired. And started thinking to myself a bunch of stuff that didn't make sense. Just go.
they will help. Maybe they'll put you on meds, just like me. I didn't know I needed meds. I didn't want meds. I didn't want them. But I can tell you right now, I'm doing 10 times better, a million times better, a million times better, a million times better. To get help, it'll, you, you will, you won't regret it. Okay. Well, if nobody's going to call, I got a feeling that my computer's about to go tango uniform. Um, if nobody's going to call and share any stories, that's okay. There's no judgment here. Um, you know, share a story with me or, you know, share what your spiraling feels like, your spiraling, your fog feels like, or how you snap yourself out of it. Um, I think we'll go ahead and wrap it up here. We'll go and bring her to a, bring her to a halt. Trains coming in the station. Um, let's see. I don't want to. Okay, so the bow, the bow on this goes like this. Um, stress is an MF, or right. And if you're someone who does deals with this spiraling, quote unquote, phenomena, it happens. Okay. Try. Uh, my suggestion is to you is to be trying to be a little more aware of, uh, of of those feelings, the feelings that you're experiencing whenever you're in that mode, when you're in that haze, because um, it's only going to help. It, it, it will help. It will help. It will help. You'll be able to talk yourself through it, self-regulate, and, uh, you know, get through that, get through that fog. Reach out to someone. Reach out to a friend. Reach out to your to um you know you can you can um you know I this this was inspired by uh, inspired bad choice of words. This the 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 subject this subject this episode the subject for this episode came up because of the the recent passing of a of a young man who um a, a young man who who uh, took his own life recently and uh, hey soul what's up buddy I haven't seen you or heard from me in a long time man um, you, you you came in in a really like heavy subject <laughs> <laughs> all right so but moving on um, kind of the, the purpose of, of doing this this topic today is because we lost another person um, do, um, because they they couldn't see their way out of the fog, and they ended up, you know, they ended up taking their own life. So uh, a sign off catchphrase. Yeah, I could use one of those. Oh, I was gonna I was do Ron Bur I was gonna do Ron Burgundy, but the bad Ron Burgundy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Um, yeah, too many people. We're losing too many good, good, good people to the suicide epidemic that's taking place right now. And it's just, it's. I just want to do something to say, if you need someone to talk to, well, first of all, this is what it feels like for me. And if you're experiencing something similar, here's how I, here's how I get out, here's how I get out of the funk for myself. Here's what triggers it. Here's what I tell myself. Here's how I self-regulate. Right. Stress, idle mind, can't do the idle mind. I can't be, if I do the idle mind thing, all the problems of the world, my house and beyond, it just, it's all at the same time. I just went, I just went through it. But, um, um, you know, being aware of the, your thoughts, being aware of your feelings, what you're experiencing, you know, um, it will, it will help to, help you regulate and hopefully you'll have a moment of clarity when you're in that space to reach out for help. Go to a friend. If you're, if you're active duty, once again, if you're active duty military, mental health is always an option that you have available to you. There are, there are options online. You can talk to you, you can call your doctor. And then of course you have the suicide hotline. If you're really in a serious, 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 serious situation 
and you just if if the if the thought pops into your head that life people the people that are around you the ones that care about you if the thought pops into your head that the people that care about you the most would be better off without you call somebody get in touch with somebody please because that is part of that irrational thinking that I'm talking about. The irrational, the irrational thoughts that pop into your head when you're in that space. If you have the thought, these people would be better without me, and they're the people that are closest to you, call somebody. The number's right here. Here. You can call here. I'm not a trained professional, but I will help. Okay. All right. Well, this has been This Way Out live. Miguel Mata, creator of the This Way Out project. It's all about, it's all about real people, the adversities they overcome, and how the world's not as dark as we all think it is sometimes as how we perceive it to be or as someone some would make us perceive it um episodes posted as often as possible uh, doing the full-time college thing so as you might guess you know full, full-time school husband dad got all those things but this is still something i'm passionate about so i'll do it as often as i can Episodes posted on um, on YouTube, on This Way Out on YouTube, right here on Facebook, at thiswo.light. On Instagram, I have an Instagram presence, at thiswo.light, and at thiswo underscore light on Twitter. And also have the website, thiswo-light.com, for blogs and feature articles that I write. To hopefully provide some, uh, always say you got to keep on keeping on. That's right. You do. You got to keep on keeping on. Got to ease on down, ease on down the road. Sometimes it can be tough. Sometimes it can be tough. And for those times, don't, uh, you know, you don't have to do it by yourself. You don't have to do it by yourself. There's always, there is, yeah, as long as I'm around, there's always somebody who's willing to listen. Um, yeah, thiswo-light.com. That's my website for blogs and uh, feature articles on uh, some really special people and the good things that they're doing in their own lives and their communities. And I really appreciate those of you who uh, tuned in and commented. And uh, Brian, who uh, might be still watching. Vance, Lanier, thanks for tuning in. Emilio, my sister Christy. Who else? I got them all right here. I don't know why I'm trying to co set my my memory. I think I said everybody. Oh, I did. I did. Good for me. Yay me. But thanks so much for uh, tuning in. You guys, uh, you guys have a good one. God bless.